The state's final 26 marijuana establishment licenses will be allotted to applicants of the Social Equity Program Friday, according to the Arizona Department of Health Services. Mackenzie Allen Charmley touches on just how equitable the impact will be in the cannabis industry. Established under Proposition 207, approved in 2020, the Social Equity Program was intended to promote ownership of licensed marijuana establishments by individuals from communities that were disproportionately affected by previous marijuana laws. Organizations like the Marijuana Industry Trade Association, who help educate Arizona's cannabis businesses, say there are many aspects of the social equity program that aren't as equitable as it seems. What you have is a pending, not disaster, but a very difficult situation for the winners of these licenses because the local jurisdictions haven't enacted or put together proper zoning for them to have homes. Additionally, applicants have expressed concerns over the $4,000 application fee for the program serving as a barrier to the Arizona Dispensaries Association, an organization that advocates for a safe, consumer-focused cannabis industry in Arizona, says the industry is known for its financial strain. If someone were to win one of these licenses, I think that, you know, that application fee is just the first of a long list of incredibly difficult challenges that are going to be out there. Many of our members at the Dispensaries Association pay upwards uh, of 60 to 70 percent in, in effective tax rates because the IRS doesn't still see us as legitimate businesses. Regardless, the cannabis industry is looking forward to the expansion of business in the state. Dispensaries across the state are welcome places for all, and uh, we look forward to uh, having 26 new opportunities uh, to welcome in uh, consumers across the state. When it comes to issues of equity, there's still more to be done. This isn't over yet. There's a lot of issues that remain unresolved. <laughs> The 26 licenses will be granted in a digital lottery ran by a computerized random drawing system. The drawing will be streamed live on the Arizona Department of Health Services website. In the newsroom, Mackenzie Allen Charmley, Cronkite News. Marijuana is a little closer to becoming legalized in the U.S. The House voted with a slim bipartisan majority to federally decriminalize marijuana. It is now headed to the Senate where Democrats are already working to introduce their own marijuana legalization bill. While the vote would open the door to radically change how weed is used in the U.S., it is expected to reach hurdles in the Senate.